monitoring and refueling point for vehicles and aircraft. It's also used to recover downed aircraft and to evacuate and rescue people. Anytime there's a major disaster, CH-53E Super Stallions take thousands of pounds of food and relief supplies. The Super Stallion is no longer in production, but the fleet is undergoing a reset to extend their service life through 2025. Of the 142 CH-53Es in the fleet, the first 25 helicopters have completed their reset process, allowing the squadron commanders to plan for training, operations, and maintenance with renewed confidence. The CH-53E was designed to transport up to 55 troops with seats installed along the center line of the cabin, or up to 32,000 pounds of cargo internally. Additionally, it could carry external loads of up to 36,000 pounds. The CH-53E is powered by three General Electric T-64 GE416 turboshaft engines, each of which is capable of producing up to 4,380 shaft horsepower. The engine's mounted above the helicopter's main cabin, and its power is transmitted to the rotors through a complex system of gears and shafts. The Super Stallion helicopter is capable of reaching a top speed of approximately 170 knots, which is equivalent to 196 miles per hour, or 315 kilometers per hour. The Super Stallion can extend its range and endurance through in-flight refueling, the helicopter is fitted with a forward extendable in-flight refueling probe, and it can also hoist hose refuel from a surface ship whilst in hover mode. Originally, the only armament on a CH-53E was two 50 caliber machine guns mounted in the windows on the sides of the helicopter, which could only cover the front and most of the sides, leaving the rear exposed. To address this vulnerability, a ramp-mounted weapon system, RMWS, has been developed and evaluated by the U.S. Marine Corps. The M3M RMWS is a Fabric National Herstal GAU-21 50 caliber reduced recoil machine gun that can be quickly installed and removed from the ramp in less than two minutes. The M3M has a rate of fire of 1100 rounds per minute. The CH-53E also has chafe flare dispensers. The CH-53E is currently the largest helicopter in the Western world, while the CH-53K, which is still in production, will be even larger. They're second in the world to the Russian MIL-MI-26 helicopter. MH-53 Sea Dragon The Navy requested a version of the CH-53E for the Airborne Mine Countermeasures role, designated as the MH-53E Sea Dragon, this variant features enlarged sponsons that provide substantially greater fuel storage and endurance. The MH-53E is equipped with advanced sensors such as sonar and magnetic anomaly detection equipment, which enable it to locate and classify underwater mines. It also retained the in-flight refueling probe and can be fitted with up to seven 300 United States gallon ferry tanks internally. Compared to the CH-53E Super Stallion, the MH-53E has undergone several modifications and upgrades to enhance its mission capabilities. These include improved avionics, specialized mine hunting equipment, and upgraded engines with increased power and reliability.